This one's from 9 to 5 Linux. It says Canonical announces general availability of Ubuntu Pro free for up to five PCs, which sounds cool. I would assume yeah. that means it wasn't free before. Uh, well, it, it didn't really exist before. Yeah. So oh. uh, we actually reported okay. on this a few months ago that Ubuntu was, or Canonical, was launching this new Ubuntu Pro service, right? And a lot of people had their doubts about it and people were worried about it becoming a paid distro because it's, it's free right now. But they made some changes and, and announced it in a, a pretty good way, I think. Uh, just to recap, Ubuntu is free. Anybody can go and download Ubuntu server or workstation, install it, run it, and and it's going to run just fine. And you're going to have 10 years of, of uh, security updates for the base install. So anything included in the base install, you get 10 years of support. With Ubuntu Pro, what they do is they add 10 years of support for more than the base install. They add support for 23,000 open source packages that are available in the Ubuntu repositories. That's a big deal, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and they also add guaranteed security updates that patches are going to be released. Not just that they're going to be released, but they'll be released within 24 hours of... Makes you wonder, how do they make that promise? Well, <laughs> I, I have my, my thoughts on this. So They just I, remove the code. <laughs> like, <laughs> if, if a new zero day drops, right? Yeah. Sometimes it takes them a while to figure out how to patch it. Remember right. with Spectrum Meltdown, they went like the full 90 days mm -hmm. of responsible disclosure on that one. Um, but what they're saying is within 24 hours of the patch being released, right? So like, let's say there's a bug in an Intel processor and Intel okay. puts out a patch. Gotcha. Intel might take three months to make the patch. Uh, but Ubuntu yeah. will roll it out within 24 okay, hours. Okay, that makes worse. Because I, I read that as if there is a bug in Ubuntu... We will have a patch within 24 hours. I'm like, how do you make that kind of promise? Yeah, that, you are badass if you <laughs> could do that. <laughs> I would be skeptical. But, uh, but yeah, for, so from the time a patch becoming available. Uh, okay. and, and that's still a good commitment because you that's hear about yes. sometimes a patch becomes available and a vendor doesn't release it right away. Mm. That would be a, a problem. So this all sounds good, but they did announce that it comes at a price. And the price is $25 per year per workstation. So that 10 years of support costs you $250 on a workstation, and it's $500 per year for a server, $5,000 over the life cycle of that server. So that's a lot. This is some big dollars. And so your, your average hobbyist and enthusiast, they, they hear that and like, oh, you know, I'll just switch over to Arch or somebody, you know, somebody else. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> yeah, <NES>. but, uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, but they said that just for anybody, you get up to five PCs free. So that kind of takes care of hobbyists and all. You can get Ubuntu Pro for free for up to five machines. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, and if you're a community member, and that means somebody who's actually contributed to Ubuntu's source code, mm -hmm. then you actually get up to 50 machines for free, which is nice. Dang. Now, some people might say, but Don, I've got six Raspberry Pis at home. What do I do for the sixth one? And I just want to remind you, you don't need Ubuntu Pro. Like Ubuntu right. Pro is, if you want this guaranteed 10 years of support on all these other packages, you can still run regular Ubuntu for absolutely free and get 10 years of support. So it's not like you have to do it. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool of them. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I mean, to support all of those packages that are available for, I mean, did you say it was 22,000? Was for for uh, of the pack, oh, 23,000, yes. 23,000, yep. I'm sorry. I don't want to short you. I know. I mean, oh, it's conical. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to besmirch your good name out there in the public sphere. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of stuff for them to support. Now, when you say support, do you mean that I can call Canonical support line and go, I have Ubuntu Pro, oh. I have trouble with X, Y, or Z software, help me. I'm, I'm or do you mean glad you mentioned that? Yeah, because, because no. <laughs> so so uh, let, let me just double check. Their call right center is just like before I speak too much. Orders so they, of magnitude larger. They do still have like paid support for that, and uh, and it's a separate agreement, if I recall correctly. And I'm just kind of skimming the announcement here to see if they mention anything, but I'm I'm pretty certain it does not include that. Um, it says, oh yeah, uh, and it says it expands the optional technical support to an additional 23,000 open source packages. So the mm. the technical support piece is still an optional component on top of gotcha. that. Yeah. Okay. Which most of us aren't going to buy, right? No. Uh, but if you're a enterprise and you're building some kind of embedded product and Ubuntu is at the heart of it, you'll want that support and, and you'll pay it and it makes sense. And so that's really what this is targeting is Ubuntu trying to better monetize some of those larger customers that aren't 
aren't paying for it. It's GitHub <laughs> issue submissions for the rest of us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you can comment on the mailing list and get yeah. insulted. Oh, Stack Overflow, <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you ever find yourself having too much self-confidence or self-esteem, yeah. just go on Stack Overflow, post any Ask question. Ask a question. Literally any question. It has gotten better. I don't no. Know. Yeah, hey. <laughs> when was the last time you posted on Stack Overflow? I guess that's a good point. Like yeah. I, like most people, I stopped you years ago. Yeah, you yeah. steered clear. So you toxic. Sick of the verbal abuse. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. Did you ever see the uh, the joke? It was like um, a comic strip, I guess. And it was like, so tell me, why do you wish to work for Stack Overflow? And the guy answers back, well, that's a stupid question. He's like, you're hired, you start Monday. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.